Previously, we saw that a project can consist of multiple build configurations. Here we can see that the Kotlin compiler has multiple build configurations, and in particular, we see that the compiler and plugin build configuration at the top. Now, the status of a build configuration is determined by the result of the latest build for that build configuration. In other words, here we can see that the compiler and build configuration is green because the last build that was run was successful. In addition, we can see that there's a current build running for this build configuration with an estimation of the time left on the right hand side. At any time, if we want, we can stop a build from continuing by clicking on the stop link and providing a reason. We can now see that the indicator has turned red and indicating that that build had been stopped. Here we can see that there is another, here we can see the K annotator build configuration resulting in a failed build and therefore it is in red. At any time, we can start a new build by clicking on the run button. And as we do so, builds are added to the queue. Here we can see that this build configuration is now queued. If we click on the build queue, we can get a nice overview of all of the current build configurations that are queued. Any time, we can remove a specific build configuration as well as reorder the queue by simply dragging and dropping the item we want. An indicator tells us estimated time left for this build to start, etc. Going back to the projects page, we can click on a build configuration and get more insight into that actual configuration. We can see here that, for instance, there are no pending changes for this build configuration to run. The current status is that it's running and recent history for the build configuration. If we click on the history tab, we can see in more detail the history for that build configuration. From here, we can jump to a successful build as well as a pin build. Now, what is a pin build? Well, Team City regularly performs cleanup of build configurations, deleting some of the older builds. If we want a build configuration to remain and not be deleted, we can pin it by simply clicking on the pin. This is required. And clicking pin, and that will pin it and not delete it. A build configuration can also be paused. So for instance, if we go to actions and click pause build configuration, we can now pause this build configuration and it will no longer be triggered to run. In addition, we can also check for pending changes of a build configuration, enforce a clean checkout from version control, as well as investigate any issues with a specific build configuration. Here we have the history of another project. We can see that we can filter the builds by tags. So for instance, if we click on EAP, it will show us only those builds that correspond to the EAP tag. At any time, we can remove a tag by clicking on Reset. Additionally, at the bottom of the history page, we can always subscribe to the RSS field of builds. And we can also customize this by clicking on the Customize link and selecting the builds as well as the type of authentication, etc.